Thanks, Bill. Every once in a while, an athlete comes along that revitalizes and changes the face of a program. Joe LeBlanc has dominated college wrestling since his arrival at Wyoming, but his rise to the top of the national rankings hasn't come without struggle. This is Joe LeBlanc, the nation's number one wrestler at 184 pounds, dominating his final home match as a Wyoming Cowboy, just as he's done to opponents on the mat throughout his career. But his toughest opponent didn't have a weight class, national ranking, or even a record. Joe was born to Sharon and Randy LeBlanc in Meeker, Colorado. The family had a bright future with Randy having gone to medical school and opening his own practice. Those dreams were broken when Randy was tragically killed in a car wreck. Joe was three. You know, I don't really have a lot of recollection except from pictures, you know, and stuff I've seen, but uh, my brothers remember him. They're um, you know, 10 years older than me, but they just told me he's a great guy, you know, I mean, he was always willing to help people, and uh, he was, uh, you know, just kind of a charismatic guy, always working hard, and he built our house at the same time he started his own practice, and so he had a lot going on, and so he could manage a lot of stuff, they said. With Randy gone, the family had a void to fill. Joe and his brothers were missing a father figure. About a year after Randy's passing, Sharon remarried Bryn Sullivan, a family friend who had helped coach Joe's older brothers in wrestling. I mean, he was my dad, you know, since I was three, he came in about, you know, a year after my dad died. And, you know, I knew him as, as uh, my dad throughout my life. And uh, he had coached multiple state champions out of Meeker. He had coached the other two, three times state champions. I was the third. And uh, both my brothers to state finals. and. Um, you know, just been involved in the wrestling program at Meeker, so it was really easy for me to, him to identify with our family and just to step right in. Bryn was instrumental in Joe's upbringing and introduced him to the sport that he cherished most. LeBlanc's skills on the wrestling mat would eventually earn him a scholarship to the University of Wyoming. LeBlanc made his impact right away, becoming the first ever freshman All-American in Wyoming history. He married his wife Amanda in May of 2009, and shortly after, the couple found out they were expecting a baby boy. Everything seemed to be falling into place until that summer. For the second time in his life, Joe and his family would have to deal with losing a father. I was actually in Meeker with my wife Amanda. We were home for the 4th of July, and uh, he actually um, took his own life. Um, there was some business problems that had been going on, and, um, he, I mean, I had seen him about five minutes before that. He went out in our field, and, um, and he was uh, just laying out there. And so it was just really hard, you know, as a, you know, as the youngest to see, you know, he was always my dad. And so just to see him go through that and see my mom go through that was, was definitely um, a life-changing, you know, experience. It was tragic, you know. I, I, I could replay the telephone call you know I mean I could just replay the word for word when when I picked up the phone and as a coach that's that's one phone call you know there, there's probably certain things you don't want to get phone calls about but when your kid gets in trouble or there's academic problems you think that's the worst and and it's nothing compared to a phone call like that with Bren gone Joe would have to be a crutch for his mother while balancing school wrestling a wife and two kids of his own all at the same time. I just really felt like my mom needed me during that time, you know, um, because, you know, my older brother already had his own family and my other brother was in Denver, so I just felt like I, I needed to be there as much as I could and I was up here wrestling. And at the same time, I, you know, my wife and my newborn son needed me, so I just felt a lot of pressure at that point to just be the best I could be for everybody. And I know that was a really life-changing year for me and, uh, you know, having to have the responsibility of a family plus, you know, just try to be there as much as I could to support my mom. Um, just really, I think, helps, you know, sh shape me into who I am today. Joe's a, uh, an extremely, extremely mature and strong man, and, and for him to battle through the adversity that he's had to go through in his college career and be better from it, it is an inspiration to, to everybody. I just kind of use that instead of using it as a crutch or something, as an excuse, you know, to fail. I just kind of use it to motivate me and be like, I'm just going to be the best I can be, um, you know, in his memory and, and to, 
to be the best I can for my family. So with all your success in the classroom, raising a family, and in wrestling, do you think there's two guys looking down that are pretty proud of you? Absolutely, I mean, I know that, I know that, uh, you know, I think my, both of my dad's mindset was to just be the best in all that you do, and, uh, and I think God, you know, God had a plan for that to happen, and uh, I'm just, you know, I, I know that they're, I know their faith, and I know my own faith, so I just have hope that, you know, that uh, it's all gonna work out for the best.